Hello, it's Ruby, and today I wanted to share another study with me video with you. So this one spans from Friday through to Saturday morning. And I didn't really do that much on Friday because we went out for dinner for my birthday because my birthday was the day before I was filming this. Uh, one thing I did want to do before we left, however, was some study rocket. So you've probably heard about study rocket if you do watch uh, study with me is frequently on YouTube, but it's a website for GCSE and A-level students which provides a really concise and condensed outline of your course. So they have a range of subjects available and they have more coming soon and I decided just to go through some of the A-level business parts um, because we do a business ethics section in ethics and because there are a few bits of overlap, I thought it might be quite useful just to add to my notes, and it really was. Um, the note-taking idea here is honestly such a good idea, um, and it's so helpful because it means that you don't have to switch between documents, which is always uh, rather annoying. Uh, then I also did the same with the gender section of the development of Christian thoughts, section for religious studies so that I could gain a psychological perspective. So I was using the uh, A-level psychology course here and that was again very helpful and I got some good knowledge to add to my essays. Oh, one thing that I just wanted to point out as well, you can see on the left hand of the screen there is this procrastination tool. So you can set how long you want to work for and then it keeps you focused which is a really great idea. Uh, so this video is actually sponsored by Study Rocket. But as always, all views expressed still are my own. And if you do want to try it out, then I've got a discount code which is Ruby25, which means that you can get 25% off your first month. Uh, so I, I would really recommend it, especially for GCSE students actually. And adding to and consolidating your knowledge of certain parts of your specifications. Um, but yes, that's all I did on Friday night. And now I am going to move on to what I did on Saturday. So this is now on the Saturday and I was just getting my papers all organised so that I could lay out my list of things that I wanted to do in a similar format to how I showed in my recent how to plan a study session video which I will leave linked somewhere on the screen. So the first thing I decided to do was just go through and do some questions on structural determination for chemistry, which is one of the trickiest topics for me, but I finally feel as though I've cracked it. Um, I just wanted to do these questions to consolidate and make sure, but I'm feeling pretty confident with it now, which is a massive relief because it was probably that and amino acids are the two things which I find the trickiest on the chemistry specification. So on Friday I had started reading a critical essay on The Winter's Tale and I just went through and finished highlighting this. Um, I was just picking up some key pieces of context and critics which I could use in my essays. And then after that I decided to write an essay for religious studies and I did this timed and without notes. So then after this I decided to just write a really quick essay plan for Plato and also make this mini mind map on Plato's soul. Just This was me just actively trying to recall certain parts of the specification. And then I got to peel off the post-it note which is basically a more satisfying equivalent of ticking it off a to-do list and for some reason I was really struggling to take this off with one hand. It's more difficult than it looks. So then I just went through this list of 120 essay questions for OCR Religious Studies which Charlotte Vardy recently published. Make sure to take a look at it if you are doing the OCR spec for um, RS because these are really helpful. So I was just highlighting the trickiest questions. Um, as you can see there were lots of theology ones, development of Christian thought, and I found loads of really great essay titles which I could use. So then next, I decided to tidy up the snug because this is when my sister does all of her work and she wasn't working in here this morning, but she manages to make a massive mess and I couldn't really concentrate because of the mess, so I decided to tidy up all of her things.
Then next I decided to write an essay on The Winter's Tale for English and I didn't actually realise but my camera cut out halfway through this clip so I'm really sorry about that but I did this for about an hour. So this is a bit later, I decided to watch some of The Royal Wedding here which is why there was a gap in the time, this is probably about half an hour to an hour later. And I decided to take my new Victorian writing slate outside to do some work so I got this for my birthday and it's an antique and you've probably seen them before but it's kind of a portable desk and I really wanted to try using it so I basically brought it outside to lean on whilst doing a chemistry paper and it worked surprisingly well. So I only actually managed to do half of this paper now because at three I was scheduled to do an interview and I needed to go inside for that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the interview is for just now, but when the article comes out I will definitely let you know and share it with you. So after the interview I decided to finish my paper So then, of course, I decided to mark the paper, which is so important, um, and I've got to say that this paper did not go very well. Um, I was going through it and I made loads of silly mistakes. But in order to make sure that I don't make them next time, after doing this, and it's not something I filmed, but I just transferred all of the questions that I got wrong onto flashcards so that I can test myself on them and learn it, basically. <laughs> So then I decided to write half of an essay on religious language for philosophy. So then lastly I decided to just go through and mark the structural determination questions which I had done this morning and I was actually really happy with this because as I said it's one of the topics that I struggle the most with um, and I only dropped four marks out of 54, so I was quite happy with that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed, and good luck with all exams. Uh, I hope that they all go well. Uh, thank you again, and have a productive week. <laughs>